In this video, I'm gonna share with you a very simple pressure that you can use. It's a five-man pressure that you can send at the bunch. And it's very, very effective because we're gonna have everybody manned up across the board. We're gonna play solid man defense. I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video, but you're also gonna basically guarantee your pressure. Regardless of what the offense is gonna do, you're gonna be able to guarantee, almost guarantee pressure with this five-man blitzing concept. So let's jump into the video. If you're new, be sure to subscribe. Uh, today, we're taking a look at the nickel triple formation out of the Chicago Bears defensive playbook. I have to tell you that I've been running this, this defense, uh, this exact defense for the last couple of days. And I've been having a ton of fun out of this defense. It's a blitz-heavy defense, but it's also a defense that what I like about it is its alignment. I think the alignment from the nickel triple has the best alignment and the best tricks. And there's just little things with that are kind of built into the formation that make this defense super, super effective. So if you want to learn the entire nickel triple defense, uh, be sure to do uh, to join the Patreon. You get everything by joining the Patreon. You get all my eBooks. I've got 13 eBooks on both sides of the ball. I've got several exclusive tips. We've got really in-depth breakdowns on pro players and how they do what they do. Uh, but anyways, without further ado, let's jump into this video. So like I said, I want to talk today about the bunch. And uh, we're really going to just primarily focus on the pressure in this video. Um, and we'll talk a little bit about the coverage as well. Uh, the coverage is essentially what we're going to do is we're going to play some cover one. Um, but the way that we're going to play this is a little bit different than like a, just a traditional cover one, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come out and actually the play cover two man. The reason why I like to come out in the cover two man is it's gonna give you the best alignment. With the nickel triple, the cover two, the cover two man, the cover six, and the cover three cloud, those coverages give you by far the best alignment in this game. So anyways, nickel triple, cover two man. All we're gonna do is we're gonna show blitz. We're gonna blitz this guy right here. And then we're going to QB contain and slide him in. That's the blitz. The blitz is completely set up from this point. And then what I like to do is you can simply uh, click on the Jordan Poirier here, your safety, and just bring him down into the box. That's pretty much it. Uh, and then from a coverage perspective, whenever you're facing gun bunch, if you take a look at the right side of the screen, you're going to see that I've got a misalignment. How I fix that is really simple. We're just going to hit triangle. I'm going to hit X to bring up the individual coverage menu. I'm going to hit the circle because that's the receiver icon that I want to mess with. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to shade him uh, to the left. And what you should see here is he, and then I'm going to press him. And as you can see, he's going to move. You see how that corner moved over the top of him, right? So now what I've got is I've got press coverage across the board. The only thing they can do is maybe potentially hit me with a tight end flat route. I'll show you how to take that away in a, in, in the ebook. Uh, but anyways, if you take a look at this pressure right here, this is a five out. We've got everybody manned up. Okay, so all we want to do with our user, we don't really need to concern ourselves a ton with this backside. We're really concerned with this trips. If the running back, if we see the running back jump on an out route, we will kind of crash down on that hard just to try to take that away. But what you're going to see here is you got great pressure. And as you can see, everybody's bagged. Everybody's locked up. If that running back goes on anything that is not an out route, we're going to win. Okay, now if he does go on an out route, I'll show you that play real quick. So this is Flood. Um, this is another popular uh, bunch concept. So again, just bring this guy down. I like to bring this guy down first. And then that, because I'm now I'll have him in the box. And then I'll set this up. And then as you can see, I'm like ready to go. Like it's pretty much, um, pretty much ready to go. You don't even have to shade the circle receiver in bunch. All you have to do is just manually press him and you're good to go. So just hit uh, triangle X circle and then hit flip the right joystick down to, to press that guy. So now we've got press across the board. If we don't want to press, if you're concerned about getting burned over the top, you can always just shade over the top and you'll be fine. But now, so like what I'll do here is I'll open up, but I see, oh, he's on out route. So I'm going to go play that. I'm going to get over there and play that. I can at least make a catch tackle quick. As you can see, the pressure comes in so fast. They're not going to be able to, they're really not going to be able to do a lot. Now, the um, another thing that I wanted to quickly hit on while we're talking about this is the blocking scheme from Bunch. So the first thing that they're going to try to do is they're going to try to pick this pressure up by blocking the running back. But notice that we're on a contain. And in this year's game, uh, and something else that's really cool about the nickel triple is that the nickel triple, because of this linebacker and the gap right there, the running back typically will get dumbed out by that linebacker. So what you're going to see here, now the running back's blocking, but he really doesn't pick me up. Um, and nine, that was kind of a little fluky. He did get me there. But for the most part, you're going to see, if I run this blitz like 10 times, uh, exactly the way that I've, I've showed you how to set it up, just blitz this guy, and then you're going to bring him uh, on a contain right there. 
if as long as you get the right alignment for the most part this is going to be fine and i would go ahead and blitz my user just to kind of uh, it just helps you know you, you can never go wrong with really blitzing your user in this game unless you're trying to do the run commit glitch but here you'll see running back see that right there it doesn't pick me up so the running back really can't stop this blitz okay that's a really big point now the other thing that the next thing that they're going to try to do um and really probably honestly at this point in the season a little bit more of a popular way to try to pick up blitzes especially from bunch is to go to something like you know let's just go to uh the play verticals we're gonna put the running back on an out route we're gonna put circle on a uh, uh or we're gonna block our tight end and then we're gonna put circle on an in route right well the problem that this is gonna create is this blitz is a sharp pressure that is coming off of the left side the reason i love the nickel triple is because of the wide uh the wide uh five to five oh tight uh front that we have right here and so what you're going to notice is that a tight end blocking should not really be able to handle this so again you're just setting your coverage up exactly the same but now they're going to block six and what you should see here is this pressure should still loop around the edge as you can see perfect coverage and as you can see the pressure loops around the edge perfectly so they can't pick this thing up by blocking either a running back or a tight end to me, that is a huge, huge win for the defense whenever we talk about how we're going to be able to defend this this formation. This formation, I would argue, has been the best formation in Madden for several years. Um, part of the reason why is because the pass protection is so effective. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to block my tight end and my running back. Now, this might pick it up, I will say. Um, I have seen this pick it up some. But for the most part, you should still see this come in because we're sending five. So uh, right there, we didn't get it to come in, but you're going to get an instant shed. And even when they're in the game, they're blocking seven people, right? Um, that's going to be their next best thing that they're going to try to do uh, to try to pick this up is they're just going to start max protecting. What you'll see is it's not as consistent, so you're not going to get it 10 out of 10, but you're going to get probably 80% of the time this will still come in off the edge. And what you'll see, see right here, the contain comes around. And, I mean, he did pick me up, but – you can see the idea the concept is really there and I've, I've shown this blitz in other videos and you've seen that it's been very successful in the ebook we talk a little bit more about how to deal with it when you face a max protect if you really want to you know kind of really force them to have to you know deal with the pressure what i love about the pressures from nickel triple is that they're mostly five man pressures so i can still play my cover one style of defense but now i have you know something like this as you can see there there we get the contain off the right edge and i mean you can just see like this is just phenomenal phenomenal coverage attached to perfect pressure in my opinion so this is probably my favorite defense in the game right now um just because it's really simple i got the running back manned up what i also have talked about in, in future videos uh we'll be talking about some coverage stuff from this but again if you just do that right there and then if you're really worried about getting burned over the top just shade your coverage up and then you'll never you'll never get burned over the top like literally never uh, and you can see how good the pressure is but you'll never get burned over the top if you shade over top uh, as long as you have like decent speed and you don't get something crazy like which has happened but anyways that's just the basics of this concept please feel free to mess around with this if you really want more in-depth breakdowns on the nickel triple i would really encourage you i just put a one hour update video in to our patreon on this defense this defense is I, I've, I've kind of honestly have gone back and forth. I've, I've like flirted with this defense all year, but I really, really like the way this defense plays because you have this def The pressure is incredible. It's the best blitzing defense in the game uh, by far. The only thing that's even close is the two, four, five odd. And then also you have the best coverage, all the best coverage in the game. You have three cloud, you have six, you have Tampa two, you have all of those. The only thing you don't have is palms, quarters, and uh, some of that kind of stuff cover three buzz match but you do have a cover three match in this defense so i would just encourage you to check this out this thing's a lot of fun to run and i think you're going to have a ton of success with it especially if you can start committing to a cover one style approach i think the cover one is probably the best coverage in the in the game right now nick saban would tell you that it's the best coverage in all of football we did a massive video on that in our patreon as well so anyways just I'm really enjoying this defense. That's all I want to leave you with. Thanks for watching. If you want to get the guide, um, everything is in the Patreon. There's a link in the description. If you want to go join it, go check out that link. I would really encourage it. My pa Patreon has been awesome, and uh, you guys have been awesome by joining that. So thanks for watching, and if you want to get all the stuff, uh, head over and join the Patreon. Link is in the description below.